Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. And welcome to New York City. We've made it. If you can't tell, that's yeah, New York, I guess. That's New York, right back there. <laughs> Last time you guys saw us, we were in Stockholm. We took a flight over here to New York, and we've been chilling here for a few days. We actually just have some friends here. We were hanging out and yeah, going to the bars. Yeah, his cousin lives here now, so. Yeah, exploring the city. Yeah. It was great. If you're not familiar with the boroughs of New York City. We're in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is actually a borough of New York City, which includes the five boroughs. Brooklyn, where we are, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, and Staten Island. Mm -hmm. And they were consolidated into a proper city in 1898. So we are in the borough of Brooklyn, and we are in the neighborhood of Williamsburg. <laughs> this is actually the first neighborhood we ever stayed in when we visited New York for the first time, I think four years ago. We absolutely fell in love because it has amazing shopping, delicious food, lots of great bars and coffee shops. Today we're gonna take you guys around. We're gonna discover some of the local food spots. All right, let's get the deliciousness started. For our first stop, we have come to Sunday in Brooklyn. And I think the concept is supposed to be like a really nice place where you can hang out. Like on a Sunday, you would go out with your family in the city, it'd be a really nice day. So we heard really good things about the place yes. too. Almost every single person we have talked to, when we asked where we should go here in Williamsburg, they said Sunday in Brooklyn. And we are getting something very cool here. They have a trademarked pancake. I feel like if you trademark a pancake, it's gotta be really good, right? First off, this thing is so fat. I was not expecting it to just take up so much vertical space. <laughs> and this is one, you could get a stack of three if you wanted to. Jesus, dude, this is like the, the height of three pancakes. So this sauce on top is hazelnut maple praline sauce. And is this just a little bit of butter it's on there? Brown butter on Brown top. butter, wow, what a weird looking piece of butter. It looks like a little piece of melted white chocolate or something like that. Oops, kind of messed it up. Let's, uh, whoa, wow. I really don't know what to expect from this, but it, it's so interesting. Definitely one of the most interesting pancakes I've ever seen. It's nice and crunchy on the outside, and then we've got this nice goo on the top. Let's see what the inside's all about. Cut myself. It's like a pie, basically. Ooh, wow. So it's a little bit yellow, nice and fluffy in there. Looks real moist. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty excited. Wow, is this too big of a bite? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's never stopped you before. <laughs> I, guess, I guess not. Oh, man. Oh, so unique. Well, the pancake itself is fluffy, buttery, and delicious, but I love this sauce on the top. It tastes like Nutella, but also the consistency of like brownie batter before you've actually cooked the brownies. That's exactly what that is like. It is decadent and delicious. Since it is brunch, we also, that we get one of their other brunch items, and they have this fried chicken sandwich, and it is the biggest hunk of chicken on there. I think it's got some pickles and some cabbage down in there. I hope it tastes very southern. That's what I'm hoping for, like a chicken biscuit or something like that. Mm. Super well fried, super tender on the inside, crunchy on the outside. It has this like spicy honey glaze. So it's sweet, but also got a really nice heat to it. Not overly spicy from the seasoning on there. Ooh. The brunch game here in New York is insane. <laughs> We've just been roaming around the area most days and we've went to a couple spots, but there are just so many spots, you could never visit them all, No, but the nice thing about Sunday in Brooklyn is that it has brunch daily. So a lot of them just have brunch on the weekends. They have breakfast, lunch, and brunch, and dinner, I think, every single day. Another thing this area is known for, New York in general, is amazing coffee. We've been going to cafe after cafe every day, haven't even scratched the surface, <laughs> but we are going to head to a new one right now that we haven't been to that's gonna be very cool and hopefully very delicious. Yeah, so it's not technically a meal, but it, I'd say it's our most important meal of the day still. <laughs> We're trying to decide what to get. It's always the hardest. You want drip coffee? You want a nice latte? Do you want a regular latte? So many One places. of everything, please. And all the pastries, too. The pastries actually look bomb over there. Oh. If we hadn't just had a gigantic I know, pancake. I know. This is the nitro cold yeah, brew that we're nitro. taste testing. Okay, that's really Is good. it a little taste? <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, that's incredible. Wow. You yeah. guys know we've been drinking nitro all this over the place, but this is one of the best. So as we mentioned, there are tons of coffee shops in this area, just in this little part of Brooklyn. This one's definitely one of the coolest ones we've been into, and the coffee is some of the best. I don't know if you can really go wrong with any of the cafes here. They're held to a pretty high standard, but 
isn't this place fantastic? It's got like the biggest skylight in the entire world. I feel like it's just like an open ceiling. And they have all the beautiful exposed brick and the leather couches and then the greenery. It's definitely our vibe. And they have a window back there where you can see them roasting yes. the beans, which I always love when you can see the mm -hmm. operation, you know? Yeah, the roasting's in the front. So you have to walk by it so you see what you're getting into. It's very cool. Williamsburg obviously has very delicious brunch and coffee, but it also has a lot of great international cuisine. And that is where we are headed next. We heard about this delicious little dumpling spot and it's gonna be very affordable because not everything in Williamsburg is affordable. So we're gonna see if it lives up to the hype. Baby, it's dumpling time. We came to Vanessa's Dumplings. It's right on Bedford Street, and we've been walking by here, and this place can be incredibly packed. We are here, what time is it right now? <laughs> it's Wednesday, 3 p.m. on a Wednesday, but it is not that crowded, so this is the time to come. The service is a little iffy, because uh, when they get a lot of tickets, they just get a little bit overwhelmed, but hopefully the food makes up for it. But the energy when you come in here is great. There's a bunch of people just sitting around enjoying some dumplings. The kitchen is all exposed back there, and they just have these huge vats of boiling water that they're dipping the dumplings in. They have some soup going over there. We put in our order. We have a couple dumplings here to try. So let's talk in more stuff in our faces. <laughs> First up, we have pork and cabbage with some chili oil on top. These look amazing. The oil has little flecks of uh, chili in there. So I think they're going to be a little bit spicy, hopefully not too spicy. They had a special, which was a uh, boiled beef. I think it's spicy beef on the inside there. These don't look quite as exciting, but hopefully there's a lot of flavor inside these little pockets. You get a lot of that chili oil. You can see all the oil down there. Check that out. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely delicious. It's so simple. The chili oil adds an oiliness to it, but also just that little bit of spice. It's nice and salty pork on the inside. You get the crunch of the cabbage on the inside. I think there are some uh, chives. When they're all boiled in like that, it just adds a nice flavor to it and it's nice and uh, crunchy. Mm. It's a good dumpling. My only complaint, honestly, is that they're not spicier. I want them to be a little bit spicier, so I might have to put a little sriracha. They give you plenty of sriracha, so that is no problem. But I think we're gonna switch seats so Allison can have the good light and she's gonna try these uh, boiled spicy beef. It was very yummy last time we had boiled beef. These ones are not gonna any or win any awards for their looks though, but I'm hoping the inside makes up for it. Okay, so it looks really goofy on the outside, like it's gonna be bland, but the spicy beef in there, super flavorful. Pretty spicy, I'm impressed. I didn't think it was gonna be quite that spicy. And the dumpling is just really nice. You know, it's a, obviously just dumpling without any sauce on it or anything, but. Oh yeah, I failed to mention that the dumplings are just really well, they're all homemade here. Yeah. And they're, they're just homemade. really well boiled. They're really The good. texture is great. And you can also get them, um, if you want like fried dumplings, you can do that as well. You can also do the dumplings in a soup and I think it's just, you just add a dollar to do that. Yeah, so you can get it any way you want. In soup, regular, fried. You can customize them. You can They're have dumplings your way. You dumplings your way. I didn't know what to expect, but yeah. delightfully surprised. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. Delightfully delicious. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Considering that these dumplings, the servings, this one was seven dollars, and then the spicy pork was five fifty. I mean, this is yeah. a whole meal. I think there's eight that they give you. Yeah. Oop. Eight. So That's one person pretty, could just do one of these. Yeah, really. it's a great value. Oh, they also do them frozen to go. So if you live yeah. here, you can get them and, and they're much them whatever cheaper. you want. Yes. Goodbye, delicious dumplings. <laughs> we'll meet again one day. Hopefully, yes. One day. In addition to amazing food, Williamsburg also has tons and tons of shopping. So they have very upscale stuff, but they also have a lot of thrift stores. And this one caught our eye because check out what's in the window. <laughs> you just chilling? <laughs> Don't got no time for us, but super cute. It's turned into a beautiful day. It's a little hot though. And I don't <laughs> have any warm. sunglasses like some people. <laughs> we came to Domino Park, which is this awesome park in Williamsburg that I think is actually 
pretty new, but it just goes along the water. You have this epic view of the Williamsburg Bridge right above you. Tons of dogs. Yeah, I think I, there's actually a little dog park up there. There's a dog park. I think there's a little taco place where you can grab a beer if mm -hmm. you'd like. It's called Domino Park because it runs right in front of the Domino Sugar Factory. It looks like they're renovating it and they're gonna make that part of this whole area. I don't know if it's gonna be condos or commercial space, but I think it's gonna be pretty spectacular when it's done. Yeah, so far this park is pretty phenomenal. I know it's brand new, so it's pretty pristine because of that, but it's really cool. They have really cool features here. And I mean, these views are phenomenal. Yeah, wraparound views all around of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Probably the number one reason to come to Domino Park is for the incredible view of the Statue of Liberty. You can just see it in all of its glory way over there. <laughs> you actually can see it though, way off in the distance. It kind of looks cool all tiny over there, but probably not the best way to actually see it. Also, it's really noisy from all these trains. <laughs> Our final stop is for some street food, y'all. There is this corner that we have been walking by on Bedford and I think Metropolitan Avenue. Tonight there are three food trucks, but I think during the day there are at least two. This so, one I keep walking by and just smelling it as yes. I walk by and I'm like, we're going there one of these yes. nights. So it's, I think it's the food trucks just food for halal, halal food. food. <laughs> yes, but as you can see, it looks great. He whipped it up back there in just a couple minutes. It was six dollars, so yeah. perfect. You, you cannot beat that price no, for this much for food. for dinner or crazy. if you're, you know, out for the evening and want if something you're on your wheel. <laughs> perfect drunk food. You get all of the lamb on top, which is what we went with. You could do chicken or all sorts of other things. And then there's a bunch of rice underneath. We got look at the cheekiest little squirt of hot sauce because he, he warned said, us that it was really hot. I don't so, know if he was exaggerating or not. We'll we'll try a little bit of that. Oh man, Ooh, it's, it's hot. It's hot? Wow, okay, I'm glad we only got the one strip. Jeez. I mean, it's really good, but a lot of that would have killed us. This lamb is so good, it's so tender. It almost tastes like there's like cinnamon in there or something. Oh, it's really unique, really flavorful. I love that there are little pieces of, I think it's peppers and onions in there. So you get a little veg, right? That's healthy. A little it's, bit. Really yummy though, really tender, really well cooked meat. I tried the lamb off camera and I gotta say, this is some of the tastiest lamb I've ever had. It's almost slightly sweet and a little bit buttery. And with all the sauces and everything, and the this is just the perfect amount of spicy sauce. Even though he put just that tiniest little strip on there, it's got so much kick to it. This is a very satisfying meal. This is gonna be our last meal here in New York. Yeah. I'm so sad to leave, it's been so yummy. We really hope you guys enjoyed exploring Williamsburg with us. We love it here. We'll definitely be back. I think it's been a year since we've been in New York. That was too long. We'll make sure to do some layovers here. But yeah, if there's you, still so much more to see. Yeah, I was about to say, if you're from the area, let us know your favorite borough or your favorite spots in Williamsburg so when we come back, we can check those out. For now, I think I'm, my food's just sitting over here getting cold, so <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> we're going to wrap this up yeah. and walk and eat on our way home. Also, we have a 7 a.m. flight tomorrow, so we yeah. have to be up by like 5 a.m. to get to JFK. So we're going to inhale this and hopefully it puts us right to sleep. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>